I'm Ryan Olson, member of the service team for Equipment Technologies. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the basic features and functions of the Invisio Pro console. We'll review items such as basic setup, product control, AccuBoom, and AutoBoom. Let's check it out. First, we'll start off with some basic setup of the Invisio Pro. These consoles come direct from the factory, already set up, ready to go. But sometimes you need to come in and change a few of the settings. So that's what we're gonna review. Starting from your home screen, we'll go into our configuration pages by pressing the blue button with the wrench and the screwdriver. Once in here, these are all our areas that we can go into to change our different presets. First, we're gonna start off with the vehicle. We're gonna set the guidance width for our boom sections. You go in to set the guidance width by pressing the guidance width button. Here is where we will enter in our boom length in inches. As you can see, I have 1,080 inches. That would be for a 90 foot boom. I would simply enter that by hitting 1080 zero, zero, and then the decimal point. Simply select your check mark. Now we go back in and we see we have 1,080 inches. We have now set the guidance width for our booms. Next, we'll check our offsets. Simply press the offset button. This will bring us in to set up our antenna position in relation to our booms. On the Apache, our booms are always in the rear, so you will never select implement in front. If you do, you will notice that the picture changes. Never have it selected and always make sure that your booms are in the rear of the sprayer. Your fore and aft setting is for where your antenna is in relation to where your booms are. Simply select fore and aft and we know that our antennas when mounted in the factory position are 135 inches in front of the booms. We'll simply enter 1, 3, 5 and the decimal point and then hit your green check mark and we've entered 135 inches in front of the boom. Next, we'll set our left and right position. When mounted in the factory position, we know that our antenna is in the exact center of our machine. Simply select the left right and we can see that it is, it is on zero. Simply hit the zero point and the check mark and we have zero. Next, we'll set the antenna height. We know that roughly the antenna is 144 inches from the ground, depending on your crop clearance. We'll hit antenna height, enter 144 in the decimal point, then the check mark to set the antenna height at 144. If you would like an exact measurement, simply measure from the ground to the base of the receiver and you will have your antenna height. We are now done setting the offsets. Simply hit your check mark and that will bring you back to your configuration screen. Next, we'll set our sections. Simply press on the section button. Here is where we are going to enter our section configuration. This is telling us how many sections we have and how long each section is. Simply hit your green arrow enter in the number of sections. This particular machine has five sections. To change the amount of sections, simply hit the green arrows to either increase or decrease the amount of sections. Once you have it set on the correct number, simply press the green arrow to continue. Now I come into where I need to set the section width for each of my sections. To get this number, I simply multiply the amount of nozzles in each section times my nozzle spacing. I know that I have 20 inch spacing on this machine. I then take my nine nozzles times 20 and come up with 180. So I would simply enter 
1.180 and the decimal point. Then simply hit the green arrow, which will move me to my next position. I then take those amount of nozzles times 20, 2, 4, 0, and the decimal point, and continue on down my sections, entering in the correct number for each section. After entering in your widths, we now need to configure our booms. To select the auto configure, simply hit the blue box labeled auto configure and your console will automatically configure your booms for you. Then select your green check mark and now you've entered in your section widths. Simply hit the green check mark again to return back to your configuration screen. Next we'll go into the profile section. This is a handy tool if you have a boom such as a 6090 or 6080 combo boom. This will allow you to set a profile for each length of boom, then you won't have to go into your guidance width and enter a new value for your boom size. To do that, right now we have our machine set up for a 90 foot boom. Simply select profiles, select the save existing profile, enter a number, 90, and hit the check mark. Now we have saved a profile for the 90 foot boom. To go back, simply select the check mark, then we'll go back into our guidance width, and we're going to enter a value for a 60 foot boom. 700 and 20 inches and the decimal point. Select the green check mark. Now simply go back into profiles, save existing profile, enter our 6, 0, hit the green check mark to save our current profile. Now we have our 60 foot profile saved. Simply hit the green check mark. Now, before we would start a job, we would simply come to our profiles, select profile to use, and you can see we can select either a 60 foot or a 90 foot boom without having to do the math to set it up to spray with either one. Simply select 90 to run with 90 foot boom, hit your green check mark, hit your green check mark again, and you are now set up to run a 90 foot boom. Simply hit your green check mark to return back to your guidance screen and your home to select back to the home screen.